Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about rheumatoid arthritis. It is an autoimmune immune inflammatory disorder. And uh, the patient complains of severe pain with morning stiffness and uh, there is a lot of pain the patient experiences. Uh, it all takes place because of uh, um, the cartilage damage and uh, highly inflammation in the joints. And uh, synovial proliferation. Proliferation of uh, synovial membrane etc. So it's a very crippling disorder and vexing and veining happens there and what happens that uh, due to the inflammatory process going on and uh, the complement system is activated there the lysosomes they release the, the inflammatory cells and uh, they damages the you can see the cartilage and uh, the erosion of the bone takes place <laughs> So, first of all, we treat them by giving the NSAIDs, non steroid anti inflammatory drugs. And if patient is not getting uh, much relief from this, then we add DMARDS, the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, which includes like gold, now it's outdated, not given. The chloroquine, chloroquine and the hydroxychloroquine, they are not given because of the retinal damage they may cause in the long course of the therapy. And uh, we then add some methotrexate or cyclosporine and SHO prime. As well as uh, some drugs like sulfasalazine etc. are also given in this. And uh, here you can see a patient, she came to uh, me and actually here movement are not possible here at the wrist joint at both of the wrist joint they are quite swollen and i got examined for the rheumatoid factor and it was positive for rheumatoid factor so after this i decided to make this video about uh, explaining about rheumatoid arthritis and what happened that uh, sometime uh, we need to add the corticosteroids and corticosteroids they give very good response but for a long long course steroids has to be avoided but uh, Sometime it is needed. So, thank you for giving your valuable time.